Welcome back to our very last day at Rocky Railway. We'll start off right here at Sing and Play Express. I'm Locomotive Lisa, and this is, this is Cole. Cole, I can't believe he's not here for the last day. All right, everybody, help me. Cole Troll. Cole. 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 It's Cole.
power will pull us through. In fact, you sang so great that Cole cheered up and went back to work. Good job, guys. Awesome. Doggone it, what are you doing? No, I said don't do that. Are you kidding me? Oh, no, don't. You know what? It's probably a good idea you don't come see me right now. You just stay over there, and I'll come, and I'll figure it out later. I can't believe you did that. Go, oh, my, these people. Oh, go, oh, got it. Uh, Cole. What? What? Whoa. What? What's going on? Oh. You seem pretty steamed up. <laughs> it's almost like you're going off the rails. <laughs> oh, gosh. I don't need this right now. Jesus, power me through. Listen, you're not helping with your little jokes, okay? Little train joke here and there. Anyway, this is train engineer stuff, and I'm a train engineer, and I'm not quite sure what you are, but it, you wouldn't understand. Well, how about try me? I bet I can track right with you. <laughs> I mean, really, you got to stop with the train jokes. Wait, wait, one more. Oh, bro. I'm listening. I'm all engine ears. Get it? Engine ears? Engine ears? <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I, I, I'm listening. <laughs> I'm listening. All right, listen. I'm listening. So there's two people that usually run a steam locomotive. The engineer, that's me, and then the fireman. Oh, a fireman? Like a big red truck and a Dalmatian? No. Silly, not that kind of fireman. Huh. A fireman on a train is a person who shovels the coal into the furnace, all right, into the boiler, and that is what makes the train go. So he's kind of a, he's kind of important. I'm tracking so far. So there's this new fireman on my crew, and wouldn't you know, he would be placed on my crew. He is driving me crazy. This guy never, ever, ever stops talking. So it's kind of like this. Imagine, now I'm trying to get my work done as the engineer. Pretty important job. Lots of work to do. And this young buck comes over and he's just like, Hey Cole, what's your favorite color? My favorite color's purple. Hey, uh, how old are you? Wow, you look old. Wow, that's really old. You're probably old enough to win the first, they first invented the train. Hey, you want to hear a joke? What do you call a freight train that carries a lot of bubble gum? A choo-choo train. <laughs> you get it? Huh? Why don't you laugh, Cole? Hey, boss, why don't you laugh? You don't like me? You don't think I'm funny? Well, I'm going to make it. Cole, wait a minute. You sound like you're not being very nice or a good friend to this new guy. In fact, you're being pretty mean, making fun of him. But you have no idea what it's like to try to get your work done and be constantly interrupted. <laughs> I think I have a pretty good idea. <laughs> you know what? Cole, loving others is important part of life. Even when it's hard to be a good friend, we need to ask Jesus for help. Jesus' power helps us be good friends. Trust, Trust Jesus. Jesus! But what if someone just won't stop Talking and constantly gets you on your nerves. You pray about it. You can ask Jesus for his strength and his patience. And ask him for eyes to see your new crew member the way Jesus sees him. Hmm. You know what? Maybe he's lonely. Maybe he's hurting. You know what? He might just need a really good listener in his life. Sometimes the people who annoy us the most are the ones who need our friendship the most. Oh, yeah, that's a good point. Never thought about it that way. Well, we sure do have a long haul ahead of us before our next journey, boys and girls. And Locomotive Lisa, I guess I'm going to get a lot of practice trying to be a good friend and a good listener. I tell you what, would you do me a favor? Will you pray for me? Of course. Let's play, pray right now. I want to help encourage you, and Jesus can do that even more. So bow your head. All right. Dear God, please give Cole the power he needs to be patient and loving 
and kind to the new crew member. Help him to be a good listener. Help him to have the power to show Jesus' love in exactly the way this crew member needs. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Wow, that was a pretty cool prayer. Thank you very much for doing that. I, you know what else kind of helps me? Praying definitely helps me. Jesus' power. But singing about Jesus' power helps me too. Oh, yeah. So these singing and dancing and moving around. Let's um, Can we do that song, Power Shuffle? I think Absolutely. that'll help. Absolutely. Remind like you it. of Jesus' power. better after the power shuffle. Yes. Now, look, Mo Lisa, and boys and girls at home, I bet you didn't know this. Way back when they first invented trains and started building train tracks, you couldn't go from one part of our country to the other. And so they had to start building the tracks. So back in those days, imagine, there was a track on this side of our country. And a different one on this side of the country. And then they finally got together, all these engineers got together, and slowly but surely they started building the tracks closer and closer to one another so that eventually, one day, they connected. And this was such a huge deal that they could um, attach one train track to the other train track to get them all the way across our country that once it was connected, they put a gold spike. Clunk! Gold. We found gold the other day. Yeah, like the gold rush. Yeah. yeah right here um, where it connected. Isn't that pretty cool to get connected? Yes. Well, it's kind of like our relationship with Jesus. We can get connected to him and his power. How awesome is that? That's so awesome. I want to sing another song. Yes, let's do it. Which song are we going to sing this time? We can trust him. Oh, I love that song.
thing we can count on If God will never let us down And we can trust everything He does He keeps His promises we know because Yeah, the word of the Lord holds still We can trust Him, we can trust Him Yeah, the word of the Lord holds still We can trust Him ahead with the last day of Rocky Railway. Glad you're here. I'm Lawrence Elk. Not a moose, not a ram, but an excellent elk. Male elks are called bulls, and me and my bull buddies like to hang out way up in the Rocky Mountains. In the winter, we move down where we can find grass, but in the spring and summer, we head for the hills. It's important that we stick together with the herd. Some elk herds are as big as 400 friends. Although my antlers are big and strong, female elk or babies don't have these, and a hungry bear is hard to fight off. Speaking of these amazing antlers, they are pretty incredible if I do say so myself. Sometimes they come in handy when other herds get too close to mine. Or I need to show another bull that I'm in charge. Yeah, sometimes we butt heads, even in our happy herd. But I try not to get too attached. Literally, they fall off every year and I grow a new set. How cool is that? 
God also gave me a unique power to help me communicate with the herd. <clears throat> That's called bugling. It's a little like roaring and whistling at the same time. It keeps my herd close together where we can be safe. Our herd even has scouts. A few elk who stand watch while others graze. We have to look out for each other. Do you have friends who look out for you? Friends you like to call out to when you're sad or silly, happy or hurting? Or do you sometimes butt heads with your buddies? Maybe you need the power to forgive and love a friend when you're not getting along. You don't have to do that all by yourself. Jesus gives you his power to help be a good friend. Jesus gave this powerful command in the Bible. Love each other in the same way I have loved you. If you're butting heads with your buddies and not getting along, you can trust Jesus' power and follow his words. Jesus' power helps us be good friends. Trust Jesus! Okay, boys and girls, when you see Lawrence Elk, remember, Jesus' power helps us be good friends. Trust Jesus! You know what? I think we should sing one more song before we go to our next train stop. Let's sing Power in the Blood. Power in the Blood, one of my favorites. to you live. This is day five. Uh, we, um, this is Pastor Jim and uh, this is Abigail. 
uh, my lovely assistant for today. Uh, we are, I hope you have uh, had a great time so far. We are excited for you and, and because uh, I think, I think something's going on. Uh, you know, when I came by my house earlier, I found that someone had decorated it for a party. So uh, there's balloons and streamers and stuff around, and I'm not sure why that is. Uh, I don't even know if I, if this is a party, and if it is, I don't even know if I'm invited. Uh, but as long as uh, we're all here, uh, we might as well uh, go ahead and uh, check this all out. Uh, so today, we're learning about Jesus' power helps us be good friends. Trust, Trust Jesus. Jesus. Great guy, job, guys. Uh, after Jesus died and came back to life, he went back to heaven. His followers and friends told as many people as uh, they could about Jesus. Uh, you heard a little bit about that uh, with Peter and John's adventure, uh, and then those people told people, and those people told people, well, you get the point. Uh, so pretty soon, lots of people uh, were believing in Jesus. Uh, that's pretty exciting. It is. It's so exciting. Yeah. Uh, here's what the Bible says, uh, in, or here's what it says in the Bible about those believers. Uh, Acts uh, chapter 2, verse 42 says, They devoted themselves uh, to the apostles' teaching and fellowship to breaking of the bread and prayers. Uh, so uh, they're eating together, they're praising Jesus, uh, they're hanging out together, they're sharing uh, with each other all sorts of stuff. Uh, Jesus' power made those believers great friends. And they want everyone else uh, to join them and become uh, friends with Jesus as well. So uh, what we're going to do is I think we've got a celebration ha happening uh, today. So uh, we're going to celebrate what we've learned about Jesus uh, we're going to do it in a little different way. Uh, we're going to celebrate uh, Jesus' power and re kind of go backwards and uh, uh, maybe uh, talk about uh, uh, some earlier days uh, that, that uh, we um, talked about Jesus and uh, Jesus' apostles. So you know, what we're going to what I see are, are, is some boxes around here, um, I, and uh, I think. I think I'm going to have my uh, lovely assistant, Abigail, um, check out those boxes. So uh, we're going to go around the room. Uh, we're going to go back through time, so to speak, mm -hmm. and, and we're going to check out the boxes. And we want you to guess the clues about which story that the, the uh, clue is connected with. So uh, they'll, they'll be uh, there. Right. Uh, you'll have a bag at home. And um, tell them about the bag, Abigail. Well, in the bag, we have some clues. So just like the presents that Pastor Jim didn't know he was going to open today yeah. for the party, we want to invite you to be a part of this, too. So we want you to reach in the bag and see if you can find the clue that matches where we're going to be in just a minute. So we welcome you to be a part of this game. So that's how that works. Very yes, interesting. Yes, it does. Very cool. Very cool. Uh, so uh, go with us uh, back in time. You know, I see all sorts of stuff, but I, I find ourselves here, and I think that's I think that's uh, one of our presents. Oh, Pastor um, so, Jim, this so, has your name so on it. So what's in it? Well, you need, it's a clue. So we want y'all to reach into your bag and see if you can remember that you can match this to the clue that Pastor Jim presented. Oh man, it's a it's a bird. It's an airplane. Oh no no, I know what it is. No, it's the oh, mustache, mustache that we had on day day one. Day one yes. mustache. There's a character. I'm thinking uh, uh, Ananias. Ananias. That's yes. right. It's Ananias. He was hiding behind his his uh, mustache. I remember. That's he was right. over by the trees and he was really scared of Paul. Got it. Interesting. Did you guys find that in, in your bag? Did you find your mustaches? We it, gave you two, one for you and one to share with a friend. There are stickers. You can put them on. Be your best mustache. Wow, was that a seagull? <laughs> Man, I didn't... Jeez, that's another one. Holy oh, cow. It, uh, you know, the boat uh, got put back, back together pretty well, I think. It did. Yes. It did. That's what Paul said. Yeah. We, if we would not drown. That's amazing. We would be safe. That's amazing. Even and the sails are, are on, on the mast and, and everything. That's <laughs> oh, incredible. miracles. Yeah, yes, miracles. Sir. Ooh, we got another present. Uh, whoa, oh. Pastor Jim, does this have your name on it? Oh, what I think so. This? I think it does. Let's see. Sneaking in the box. I'm sorry. I'm oh. sorry. Uh, Demon Marcus. Wow. 
This is an extra, extra awesome present. I'm oh. confused. Mm. This is a this is a rice cake. It is. This is this is a rice cake from uh, Kali. What uh, what clues can you find the clue in your bag? So if what, is you, there is if, there a bag in clue? It is. If you reach in, you will find your own little cake. Ah. Right here. Yes. So the mm -hmm. uh, the rice krispies thing is the rice cake for day two. And uh, no, I didn't forget. And, and uh, gosh, well, I wonder who was that? That was about. Can anybody remember? Was his name uh, Tall, or uh, maybe uh, yeah. um, Ball? No, it no? was Paul. Ma Paul, that's Paul right. Paul was the Christian. It was Paul. That God changed his heart. Yeah, that's right. Remember? That's right. We yeah. almost jumped in that on that boat. Oh. I remember now. That's exactly right. So uh, that there's uh, your day number two clue. Hey, 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 we're back again. We're here at, uh, seems like very familiar. Man, I, I think I stepped in something in Jeru walking through Jerusalem, though. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, this is the Temple Gate. I remember this now. Um, uh, what day was it? It was day, uh, we did already did one, we already did two. Was it four? No, no, was it, was it five? Is that five? No, today's five. Oh, three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got yeah, it. Yeah, you know, good I'm, pretty, job, I'm pretty good with math. Yeah. <laughs> so, so it looks like we have another present. Oh, we do. And this one is important because it's be careful. It's fragile. Okay. Be careful. All right. All right. I'll be, I promise I'll be careful. But, uh, wow. I really mm. like the, the, uh, the box. The box is very cool. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, see, I think this is me. Oh, yeah. Sound looks looks and sounds familiar. I, I'm thinking uh, it's coming back to me now. Uh, what in their bag might they have that, that could be a uh, well, They might have a this. couple of friendship coins uh -huh. in here that they can jingle together. Uh -huh. Friendship coins. Oh right, yes. right. I remember now. That's Jesus, right. uh, John and Peter. They uh, they healed the, the lame person. They I remember did. now. They and and uh, they dro uh, dropped a uh, instead of dropping a coin in the cup, like some folks would if they were good. Um, that person got healed. That's wow, yes. that is exciting. That represents a really cool story. Oh, and what power she yeah. had to get on her feet again and yeah. praise God. Yeah, absolutely. What power. Wow, that's oh. amazing. So here we are, day three. Well, here we are at the, the cross, um, uh, the heart. I hope everybody got, had a chance to make their cross and uh, stick, stick their heart with their name on it. Um, it, it uh, it's a pretty cool thing. I wonder... Uh, oh, that's for you too, Pastor Jim. I wonder what, uh, wonder what <gasps> this station is all about. Oh, see, I let the cat out of the bag. I let the cat out of the bag. Darn it. Hey, um, but can you remember the song? That we sing. You remember the song we sang? I do, the old rugged cross. Oh, nice. So, what are we? Uh, is, there, is there anything? There, oh, that's right. There was. That, that's that's their. their that, thing. That's correct. We put something special in here because, to me, the most beautiful part of that story is that our heart is in His hands, and our heart is there, and His the blood of Christ. He'll protect our heart and who we are for a very long time. So we have put in your bag two pieces. Oh, oh, this is the clue. Uh oh. Yep. We have put in your bag two pieces of origami paper, and in there is also a website that you can hook to get that you can link up and follow the directions to do an origami heart. And of course, because we're we're looking at friendship, there's two. It's a heart. Yeah. It's flattened out. It's and a it heart, is. and it's regular, right? Piece of paper. That's cool. <laughs> That's cool. That's very cool, Abigail. Yeah, and with and with this, there's two because we're celebrating friendship, and there's one that you can make and give this heart to a friend, and one for you to share as well. Sweet. Very cool. Day number four. Okay, um, we're we're back. I hope you guys had fun with trying to guess uh, what that was. 
I know we had fun. It was really, really I did. cool. I did. Uh, this is day five, and um, we I think we have special, something special for day five, too. Don't we, we? we do, because today's the day that we celebrate all that we've learned about the love of Jesus Christ and how he can be a part of our life. Nice. And so when you reach in this bag, you're going to find that you are going to be invited to our party, and Sweet. you're going to help us celebrate this love. <laughs> so in here, you will find a bag, and in that bag, you might find a balloon that you might want to blow up. They're always fun to do. So we've got balloons in here too, all around. Says you might want to blow up. Sure, sure. Balloon, Pastor. Oh, oh look at that! <laughs> oh no! Oh! <laughs> sound effect. That's wonderful. And you know we've been, you know we've been talking about the wonderful kid, yeah. kid missions, and we've been supporting the alpacas, and we've been supporting our dear sweet babe. So another reason why we have the heart. But in here you will find fun confetti, and nice. it looks a little like alpacas. Wow. Alpaca. <laughs> uh oh. C careful for, for uh, it's all good. It's all good. It's okay. It's there's power in the alpaca food. It's all good. Hey, look, look uh, you know, I'm starting to I'm starting to figure this out. I, I think this is actually. Um, uh, a party, but but I'm not sure yet. Uh, there's a couple things I w wanted to let you guys know. Um, remember, uh, the heart uh, is uh, God's heart and God's love for you. Don't ever forget that. Um, we want a, a final thought to stick in your head uh, of a few things. One is Jesus' power helps us uh, be good friends. Trust, Trust Jesus. Jesus. You know, it's important that we stay connected to other friends of Jesus. If uh, this is your church, I hope you'll stay connected uh, with friends here. If you go to another church, uh, that's a great place to find friends of Jesus. And if you don't go to a church, uh, we welcome you to join uh, us here. We would love for you to come and be part of our family here. Uh, you know, however you do it, stay close to Jesus, and that's what's most important. And remember, uh, we've discovered about the power of Jesus. Jesus' power helps us do hard things. Trust, Trust Jesus. Jesus. I didn't hear you guys at home. What was that? Okay, that's better. Okay, <laughs> Jesus' power gives us hope. Trust, Trust Jesus. Jesus. Jesus' power helps us to be bold. Trust, Trust Jesus. Jesus. Jesus' power helps us to live forever. Trust, Trust Jesus. Jesus. And finally, Jesus' power helps us to be good friends. Trust, Trust Jesus. Jesus. Look, we love, love that you guys are with us. And uh, I think I finally figured it out, Abigail. Uh -huh. It's a friendship party. Yeah, yeah. So uh, if uh, um, Coltrane could start our music. Sweet. And uh, we're going to invite uh, everybody else in. Come on in, guys. It's a party. Come on in. It's a party. Continue on dancing because we're going to dance you out of this. 
Um, we uh, we love that you had a chance to, to be part of this. We love that we had a chance to be part of your life in this small way. But remember to love Jesus um, and seek uh, friends in, in the name of Jesus. Uh, this is uh, Pastor Tim and everybody here uh, at the BBS uh, 2020 for Bethesda Presbyterian Church saying uh, we love you. God bless you. how we learned this week at Rocky Railroad to help each other and be good friends. In today's special Bible verse, John 15, 12, Jesus says, love each other in the same way that I have loved you. Jesus' power helps us be good friends. Trust, Trust Jesus. Enjoy your good friend bears. Bye-bye, all aboard. Next, next stop, Kid Fid Cinema. Welcome back, boys and girls. I can't believe this is our last day at BBS. It's been quite different this year, but I've still had a wonderful time, and I hope you have too. Are you ready to meet our kid bed friend and watch our last video? I'm excited to see who we'll meet today. Let's watch. I'm Renee and I'm 10 years old. Hi, I'm Alina and I'm 11 years old. Renee and Alina are great friends and they live in the beautiful desert of Southern Arizona. They love to hang out and be silly together. Their friendship has grown after they both joined an arts ministry at their church. Um, Ansel's Manos is a creative art ministry. We do puppets, we do shows, we do skits and stuff like that. En sus manos is Spanish for in his hands. It's an art ministry that uses performance to share the love of God. There is dancing, acting, and music. My favorite thing about performing is probably looking like um, at the end looking at like all the kids all smiling and laughing. I'm like 
Sometimes performances are serious, and sometimes they're fun and silly. Regardless of being silly or not, one thing is true. Being a part of Ansus Manos has brought the entire team closer together. This puppet ministry helped us become better friends. And it's not just like me and her, like other people, a lot more. Basically the whole group. Our group, like before, like we were all friends, like we were chill, but now we're like, we're like really, really good friends. And like, we're always hanging out. We're always like laughing, making jokes. Jesus has used the ministry to bring the team together. This team of friends help each other to do the best they can to share God's love. My friends, like they helped me not be nervous because like they were doing, they were doing it too and they were nervous, but at the same time they, they supported us. I was with my friends and I knew a lot of people in, from church. So was it that, that scary anymore? Serving Jesus together has helped Lena and Renee become great friends, but they both know who the best friend is, Jesus. He, he's like one of our like bestest friends ever. He is. <laughs> yeah. Renee and Alina know that Jesus' power helps us be good friends. Jesus helps me make friends. Um, like God knows that I'm doing like this whole ministry for him. And so it just helped me like become better friends with people. So he helped me like be friends with a lot of people, but still like worship him and praise him. In the Bible, in the book of John chapter 15, verse 12, it says, love each other in the same way I have loved you. Jesus loved us all equally. So we should love everybody because as he says in the Bible, we're all brothers and sisters and love your enemies. Jesus' power helps us be good friends. What a great story that was about good friends. I'm sure you and your friends have favorite things that y'all like to do together, too. When I'm looking for a good friend, I want someone who'll play with me, who likes the same things I like, and trust Jesus. But sometimes, y'all, I've found out in my life that friendships don't always work out as well as the relationship that Renee and Alana had. Sometimes you think someone's your friend, but then something happens to change your mind. Maybe the person you thought was your friend talked behind your back, or made fun of you, or maybe we said something that hurt our friend's feelings, and then our friendships end. I bet you can think of a time when friendship didn't work out in your life. Good friendships are very special and are important in our lives. But that doesn't mean friendships are always easy. That's why I'm grateful that Jesus' power helps us be good, good friends. friends. Trust, Trust Jesus. Jesus. Let's say that together. Jesus' power helps us be good, good friends. Trust Jesus. Jesus. You know the Bible has some really great advice about being friends and having friendships. Let's see what the Bible says about that. It comes from John, the fifth chapter, the 12th verse, and this is what it says. Love each other the same way I loved you. And those are very important words, boys and girls, because guess what? Those are the words that Jesus himself spoke. Let's say them together. Would you do that with me, please? Love each other the same way that I have loved you. In fact, to help us remember this Bible verse, let's learn some Bible verse actions. Are you ready? Okay. Love each other in the same way I have loved you. All week at Rocky Railway, we've been learning about Jesus' power. And today we discovered that 
Jesus' power helps us be good friends. Trust Jesus. I love that in that Bible verse, Jesus gives us advice about exactly how to be good friends. Jesus tells us to love each other the same way he has loved us. Let's think back for a minute, boys and girls, as to what we've learned this week and what we can discover about loving each other the same way that Jesus loves us. If you remember on Monday, we recalled, you remember about Dominique, who loved karate, even though it was something very hard for him to do. Watching Dominique, we learned that Jesus' power helps, helps us do hard things. Trust Jesus. Helping us do hard things is one way Jesus shows he loves us. So I guess that means we could be a good friend by helping someone else do something that is hard. You may have a friend who's upset maybe because their parents are getting a divorce. You could just be a good listener to them and encourage them, your friend, to trust Jesus. After Dominic, we met Anna Liz, who used her music to give her sick grandmother hope. From Anna Liz, we learned that Jesus' power gives us hope. Trust Jesus. Jesus shows his love for us by giving us hope. If we want to love others like Jesus loves us, we could give someone hope. Maybe you could make a card for a friend who's sick, telling that friend that you're praying for them. You may think of other ways you could give a friend hope. On Wednesday, if you remember, we met Lauren, who volunteers at her local community food bank. She helped us remember that Jesus' power helps us to be bold. Trust Jesus. Jesus shows his love for us by helping us be bold when we need to. And today we watched and heard how Renee and Alana helped each other not to be nervous before a performance. So that's one way to help a friend be bold. I bet you can think of other ways, too, to help your friends be bold and brave. Yesterday we met Isaac, who knows he'll see his brother Joel in heaven someday. Isaac's story can help us remember that Jesus' power lets us live forever. Trust Jesus. Everyone needs to know about Jesus and his incredible love for us. Telling a friend about Jesus is maybe the best bold thing you could ever do for that person. You know, Jesus is the best friend that we could ever have and ever will have. If we listen to him and follow him, watching, following the example that he sets, we can be good friends to others just the way he wanted us to be. Let's now talk to our best friend right now and thank him as we pray. Would you pray after me, please? Dear Jesus, Dear Jesus, Jesus your power, your power and, your love, and your love are amazing. Are amazing. Thank you, thank thank you for, being the best friend for being the best friend we'll ever have. We'll we'll ever ever have. have. And thank you, and thank you for showing us, for showing us how to be good friends. How, how to be, be good, good friends. friends. Please be with each of us. Please, Please be, be with each, each of us as we go out into the world. As, as we go out, out into, into the world to live for you. To live for you. Thank you for loving us. Thank, thank you for, for loving us. us. In Jesus' name. In, In Jesus, Jesus' name. name. Amen. 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 Thank you for joining us today in Rocky Railway Kid Viz Cinema. All aboard! Next stop, Imagination Station. Bye. Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome to day five of Imagination Station. We are so glad you're here with us again today. We've had so much fun making discoveries with you this week. Today we're discovering that Jesus' power helps us be good friends. Trust, Trust Jesus. Jesus! 
Let's say good morning to Mr. Ed. Hello, hey. Professor Ed. Hello. How are you today? We're doing well. I'm so glad. Boys and girls, did you bring your imagination today? I hope so. Since it's our last day at Rocky Railway, we need tons of imagination. I was talking to my friends, Lawrence Elk. Lawrence Elk is my buddy. He's an incredible elk. And did you know he told me that elk can weigh? All right, Lawrence Elk. Oh, I get it. Bubbles. Yowza, yowza. Well, <laughs> anyway, did you know that, Lawrence, that elk can weigh as much as 750 pounds? I did not know that. 750 pounds. 730 pounds, actually. But that's probably as much as a classroom full of kids, you know? That's a lot of weight. Hmm. I said, Lawrence, how do you have enough energy to carry all that weight up a mountain? And you know what he told me? What did he tell you? He said that he eats about 20 pounds of vegetation every day. 20 of pounds vegetation. of vegetation. What is vegetation? Is it like... Uh... Carrots? Carrots and leaves and, leaves and grass and, you know, all those plant things. He has on, he's okay. on a plant-based diet. Well, boys and girls, now that we have our imagination sprouting, get it? Vegetation <laughs> sprouting. Let's find out today's question. It's time for our talk starter story question. Okay, here we go. How many toes do elk have on each leg? Hmm, how many toes? Do they have two toes or do they have four toes? Well, boys and girls, if you think elk have two toes on each leg, raise your hand. I've got a couple out there, three, four, five. Ooh, lots over there. Okay. If you think they have four toes, raise your hand. Wow, got lots of those too. It's incredible to find out these things. Okay, this is our last drum roll of the week. Make it the best one yet, Mr. Ed. Here is our amazing answer. Boys and girls, the answer is elk have four toes on each leg. Woo, imagine that. Today we're going to make power bands. We know that steam trains get their power from either, either wood or coal. And you can use your beads and pretend that they are coal or wood pieces and they will give you power like a train. But really, where do we get our power? We get our power from Jesus. That's correct. Every day at Rocky Railway, we discovered something new about Jesus' amazing power. As you work, remember, Jesus' power helps us be good friends. Trust, Trust Jesus. Jesus! One more time. Remember, Jesus' power helps us be good friends. Trust, Trust Jesus. Jesus! As you work, Mr. Ed's going to demonstrate. Okay. What you need to do is take your baggie, take your beads out of your baggie, and then you have a pipe cleaner. And you take the end that's not tied in a loop, because that would be hard to get it through. So you take the pointed end, and you feed all your beads onto the thing. Oh, man, you've got some neat beads. Some look like coal, some look like wood. Yeah. Wow. I am impressed. And this may do take you have a any while. special beads? We do. I have a few special beads. I have cross. Oh, cool. So you can add a on. cross? You can add a cross. Whoa. Oh, I'm glad we have these pipe cleaners. That would be hard to get in that tiny little hole. I have little crosses. I have hearts. Oh, to show nice. our love for Jesus. I tell you, Jesus loves us very much. You're right. That is great. So boys and girls, you can start doing yours now too. So take your bag out and start putting your um, power band together. Okay. I like how they call them power bands because that reminds us that Jesus' power helps us be good friends. Trust, Trust Jesus. Jesus. And once we finish, we want to take it and we're going to tie it. But you're going to want to tie it around your wrist and you might want to get some help with this because this is very hard to do by yourself with one hand. As you can see. Might need a friend. Might need I can a be friend. a friend. And I just take that and stick it in and then twist it around. And it's ta-da. That is incredible. Boys and girls, I'm going to ask you a question while you're working on your power band. I want you to think, how can you be a good friend to somebody? Like, right, stop for just a second. Look at how can you be a friend to somebody? 
Okay, keep working. When I count to three, I want you to shout out what you can do to be a good friend to somebody. One, are you ready? Two, three. Talk Love to them. them. Wow, I heard some great answers. I thought we were gonna have to do that several times, but they really shouted out a lot of things. Wow, some said that you can invite them over. Somebody said you can bring them to church, to Sunday school. I mean, that's a good idea, that bring them to church. Idea. I like that one. Some said you can just listen when they have a problem. You don't even have to tell them what to do, just listen and be a helpful. listening ear. And then I heard what you said, love them. That is the best answer. Just do those things that show you love your friend. You can share your toys and art supplies. That was a good one. Mm -hmm. I heard toys, I heard art supplies. Let them pet your dog. I thought that was a really good one. You know, play with your pets. Yes. And um, that's really good. I'm so happy to know there are great ways to be a friend. Jesus tells us to love our neighbors as ourselves. So as much as you love yourself, you should love your neighbors. And we're not talking about the lady next door. We're talking about all people. Mm -hmm. I Everyone. think that's great. So your answers were all good if they show your love for your friend. Well, guess what? <laughs> guess what? What? It is time to say goodbye. We have had a fantastic week. And I'm just going to say all aboard for Rocky Wrap Up. <laughs> Bye. Welcome to our final Rocky Railway Wrap-Up. Say that five times fast. Rocky Railway Wrap-Up. Heather can do it. Okay, <laughs> so here at Rocky Railway Wrap-Up, we hope your last day here at VBS at home was a great and fun one. I tell you what, Locomotive Lisa, and boys and girls, I have had the best time. It has been so much fun hanging out with you, all our crew leaders and station leaders, and knowing that we have boys and girls, even families, parents, grandparents, watching our Vacation Bible School at Home Edition 2020. So it's been great fun. It's been so much fun. Let's just, let's sing dance, do our emotions to one of our songs. Let's just all get up and let's celebrate good times. Come on. It's time to celebrate. Ce Cole, that's a great song. It is. That's a great not song. Not one of our Vacation Bible School songs. How about let's do the Power Shuffle? Oh, yeah. Power Shuffle. That's right.
Everybody clap your hands. Now stop. Awesome singing, boys and girls. You're doing such a great job. Celebrating Jesus' power is so much fun with all of you. And now it's time for one of my favorite things here. I know what it is. What is it? Because it's my favorite too. All right. Spotlight VBS, where we see all their smiling faces on today's Bible story. Let's take a look at it. All right, wonder who we're gonna see. Get ready to sing. We trust, we trust, we trust in you, Jesus, you're all, you're all, you're all that we need, your power will pull us through, we're trusting in you, we're trusting in you. We're wide open eyes We're looking ahead for the next big surprise Whoa, oh, oh, oh. We trust, we trust, we trust in you Jesus, you're all, you're all, you're all that we need Your power will pull us through We're trusting in you, we're trusting Included some very, something very cool that you, Locomotive Lisa, have taught me, and that is the God sightings. I learned that God sightings were everywhere. They're all around us, but sometimes we just have to look for them. Absolutely, that's right, Cole. And some of the God sightings I got to see this week, even as recently as today were the crew leaders who went out to all of their homes to make sure they had the materials for today's Rocky Railway adventure. And then the kids and the families, yeah. they sent in money for Operation Kid to Kid. Man, the sunshine and even a little bit of rain, man, these God sightings, they're just awesome. They are awesome, and they are truly all around us. Do you know what my favorite, I think my favorite God sighting was this week? What's that, Cole? Friendship. Oh, of course. Oh, having good friends, that's definitely a God sighting and a God blessing. 
I mean, I got to meet Pastor Jim and Ananias and Abigail down there at Bible Adventure Station. They are so nice and just did the greatest job. And I didn't realize pastors could be funny. Pastor Jim, he is a crack of, isn't he? Yes, I, yes. very talented. Very talented. talented. Yeah, and then there's Miss Lisa uh, and her daughters, Heather and Caroline, over at Locomotive, Locomo, Locomo, yeah, Locomotion Games. <laughs> I'm telling you what, I didn't realize just um, how uh, creative. Creative, yeah, they can be. They did a fantastic job. They did. And then, you know, Miss Linda, Miss Kitty, who packed the bags for the snacks to make sure every boy and girl had a snack. And Miss Holly and Miss Claire helped them get ready, too. Yep. Their help behind the stage. Nobody's even seen them. That's right. And they've been working hard. And how about, um, oh, Miss Jane and Miss Betsy over there at Kid Big. I love that. Oh, aren't they just the most precious ladies? They, they are wonderful. I'll tell you what, they did such a great job. And then all uh, ugh, what do we say not? You, we've learned about being good friends, right? Pray about it first. Yeah, I really want to say something really kind of not nice about Professor John, but I'm going to trust Jesus and not go there. So, But Professor John and Professor Ed over there at the Imagination Station. They had some really cool gizmos. They had some cool gizmos and a lot of cool toys to play with. And... And then, and then, of course, how could I almost forget? I didn't almost forget. Who would you forget? What could you I? Where you. would I be without Locomotive Lisa? Aww. You, of all of them, are probably the best friend I met here at Rocky Railway. Well, that's super sweet, Coltrane. You're a really good friend to me, too. But you know who the bestest of best of best friends that we can have is? Jesus Christ. He's the greatest forever friend. And you know what makes a good friendship? Trust. And you know what? We can trust that God will never let us down and that we can always count on him. We can trust him. In fact, let's sing that BBS song that we can trust him. Like 
your parents, grandparents, guardian, the people right there in your house or your um, immediate area. Yeah, speaking of friends, due to the coronavirus, we haven't been able to see a lot of our friends and even some of our family members for the past few months. Friends at our school, here at church, on our sports teams that we're used to playing with every day or seeing every day, I've missed all my VBS friends. Like we usually have 130, 150 kids sitting all around us, cheering us on and clapping and singing with us, worshiping God together, praying, running around, just having a great time. And I'll meet so many of them and they become my good friends. And golly, I sure miss them. You know what, Cole? I miss them too. But one day, all our families and friends will be reunited one day in forever in heaven if they trust Jesus' power. Jesus' power can help us get through all life's ups and downs, happy and sad times, and can give us a life forever by making the way for all of us to be in heaven with him and all our friends. In fact, we should celebrate good times. Come on! By singing, this train is bound for, for glory. glory. in heaven for me. This train is bound for glory. This train. This train is bound for glory. This train. This train is bound for glory. This train. This train is bound for glory. Jesus made a place in heaven for me. Bring it down. This train is bound for glory. This train. This train is bound for glory. This train. This train is bound for glory. Jesus made a place in heaven for me. This train is bound for glory. This train. in heaven for me. This train is bound for glory. This train. This train. This train. This train. All right. Good singing, boys and girls. I know we're getting close to the end of the day, but not only that, the end of Rocky Railway Vacation Bible School. And I'm not going to get sad, but there's something I just want to tell you before this is over. Before Rocky Railway BBS, I didn't know you, Locomotive Lisa. And after spending this week with you and getting to know you and you helping me out and teaching me about God and Jesus' power and love and God sightings, you've become such a really, really good friend. And I am so thankful that God brought you here to Rocky Railway and that we could get to be such good friends. And you know, good friends are like what you've taught me, those God sightings again, seeing God's power and his love in action all around us. Well, all glory to God. And you know what? When we become really good friends, we might say we have a connection. So let's demonstrate that. I want everyone at home to join you, Cole. Lift up your right index finger, your other right. There you go. That represents you. All right, how about your left index finger? That's your friend. Now, make a friendship connection. Interlock your fingers. Wonderful. It's so fun when we make connections with friends. 
But sometimes we say or do things that can hurt a friendship. Like tell them. Oh, lie. yeah. I know some things that have hurt friendships before. What's that? Unfortunately, from experience, like sometimes maybe we tell a lie and, and that hurts the friendship. Or sometimes we go back, we talk bad about that person, and the person we told goes and tells them that, so, that somebody said, that said yep. something. And that hurts a friendship. Yep. And, or maybe we've taken their toy and stole something Ooh, from yeah. them that hurt them. And so those kind of things can really yeah. tear at a friendship. Sometimes just not even including them in the game yeah. that others are playing can really hurt your friendship. You know what? All those things and more can tear a friendship apart. Okay, boys and girls at home, think of something that might have happened to you with a friend that kind of tore at your relationship. All right, so Cole, I'm going to try to tear at your friendship here, okay? okay? And while I'm trying to pull your friendship apart, you repeat today's Bible verse really boldly and loudly. And everybody at home, when you, if, if, if you have someone with you, they can help pull your friendship apart, or you can just do it, okay? All right, you ready? And repeat today's Bible verse. Ready? Here we go. Okay. So we're tearing the friendship apart. Me help me, boys and girls. Jesus' power helps us be good, be good friends. friends. Trust, Trust Jesus. Jesus. Wow, that was really hard to try to separate your fingertips. And no matter how hard you tried to pull and ruin and tear apart this friendship, I think Jesus' power helped us. Again, face. praise God and glory to him. Trust Jesus. Absolutely. He is the glue that can hold the friendships together. You know what? We can really trust his love and power when it's really tough and difficult times with friendships. Mm -hmm. Um, because sometimes it's just hard to be a good friend. But thank goodness that Jesus' power helps us be good friends. Trust Jesus. Well, here at Rocky Railway, we have um, we have a chance to be a God sighting and to be a really good friend to someone you probably have never met and don't even know. That doesn't mean you can't be a good friend. You can still be a friend to them. And um, there's a lot of love and power and goodness that we can show the world in the name of Jesus Christ. And so what I want to challenge you to do is, is remember Faith. And hey, Faith, I know you're probably watching. And Felicia and siblings and family, we want you to know and experience Jesus' power and his love. Uh, through this God sighting, as we are praying for you and love you and want to support you as best we can. And so not only uh, Faith Dixon and her family, but also the people in Ecuador. We've talked a lot about the alpacas and what, how the alpacas can help um, really be a life-changing animal for the families over in Ecuador. And so we're collecting money to help these families right here in our community as well as far-off places like in Ecuador. That's right, Cole. Our friends here at Rocky Railway have joined us to be a God sighting for all these people and families that you have mentioned. It is just so wonderful. And I think we should sing one last song as a great reminder of the hope that we have right here in our community and as far away as Ecuador. Let's sing the song, In You Alone.
This is one of the last times we come together. It actually is the last time we get together for our... Rockin' Railway Review! That's right, Locomotive Lisa. Boys and girls, take a good look. Your last look at some of the very unique creatures that God has created that help us remember the Bible points of each day. So we're going to quiz you one more time. We hope you're having a lot of fun with this quiz. But on Monday, you'll remember that we learned, what was his name? Ramsey. 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 And Ramsey reminds us that Jesus' power helps us do, do hard things. things. Trust Jesus. And then on Tuesday, we met... And Ava reminds us that Jesus' power gives us hope. Trust, Trust Jesus. Jesus. Great. And on Wednesday, we had that pretty mountain lion. <laughs> and her name is Sierra. Sierra. Sierra reminds us that Jesus' power helps us be bold. Trust Jesus. And then that funny fish named who reminds us Jesus' power lets us live forever. Trust Jesus. And then Lord, oh, I almost told you his name. The last day, or today, we met Lawrence L. And he reminds us that Jesus' power helps us be good friends. Trust Jesus. Great job, boys and girls. Give yourselves a big It's really about uh, the families in Ecuador and uh, Faith Dixon getting a new heart. So I want you guys to settle down. Good point. Don't 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 jump off the rail. 
Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. That's that, 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 there it is. There it is. It oh, keeps, it keeps you pure engineer close to the ground. And, and uh, listen and do the right thing. Oh, thank you, Pastor Jim. Thank you, Pastor Jim. Jim. You got us back on track again. I really appreciate that, and I'm so glad that you opened up your and your engineers. Yep, my engineers are listening. Yep. You know what? I just want to make sure that they know that they are are so invited to come worship our great Lord this Sunday, 10:30 a.m. right here on this same channel, YouTube or Facebook, and here at Rocky Railway. And Pastor Jim is actually our pastor, and he'll be pastor. preaching. We are so looking forward to that. And when the service is over and we have worshipped our Lord, then we'll put a pie in your face. No, remember, the pie is going in your face. Right, okay. no, 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 no. So we will be celebrating the God sighting of the money that has been raised for the families in Ecuador and for Faith Dixon and her family and the new heart for the sweet little girl. And so please join us for both worship and the finale afterwards. And let's not forget the fun that's added that a baby alpaca has been born this week, a baby oh, yeah, boy. Right. Baby and boy. we, they've been donating, donating, suggesting names all week long for the alpaca and a name will be picked and we will announce that as well at the finale. Awesome. So remember all of that. Thank you all, and I just want to turn this back to you for a closing prayer of Rocky Railway 2020. Th thank you, everybody, um, everybody on stage, everybody who is uh, not on stage. We thank you, everybody who has uh, participated. Thank you, parents, for um, doing this great love gift for your kids. It was our pleasure, honor, um, and privilege uh, to bring this to you. We hope it, it's a blessing to your soul. Uh, we are uh, so glad to have such uh, talented and fun folks. Uh, thank you, uh, Johnny Deal, for being our technical, our, our cameraman, our director, producer, and everything else. Way to go, Johnny Deal! And clap for Heather. Yay, clap for Heather! So, so uh, let's, uh, let's go to God and pray, guys. Uh, let's pray. Let's pray. Gracious God, we thank you for this awesome opportunity to to come um, before so many and try to bring uh, your love, oh God, your joy, uh, your grace and truth in the midst of others' lives. Lord, uh, we thank you for blessing us with the privilege and, and the joy of uh, doing this. Lord, we uh, thank you for every opportunity and blessing that you give us. Lord, now we pray for um, the families in Ecuador we pray for the Dixon family, and more specifically, Faith. We pray that uh, those folks would give, that you would bless those gifts, and that fa families and lives would profoundly change. Lord, we pray for your will to be done in, in our lives and all those lives who have participated. Lord, help us to be prayerful people that we might pray for um, others, uh, the, the world and even our enemies for oh Lord you've called us to do such a thing in, in the act of love and of grace and of your truth Lord we thank you for all the blessings that you bestow upon us the blessing of technology and, and uh, cameras and, and computers and Facebook and YouTube Lord, we thank you for the blessing of all those who are willing to pack bags and carry them out to families, to have conversations. Lord, bless these children, bless these uh, young folks, bless these young adults, the old adults, and everyone else. Lord, bless us and help us to walk with you every day. Help us to reflect your love and grace in all that we say and all that we do. And for from all of us at Bethesda Presbyterian Church, and on behalf of VBS 2020, uh, we say God bless you and thank you for allowing us uh, to come into your home uh, in just such a way. And God's family said, Amen. Amen. Thank you so much. All right.